Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute kawaii bags. And I'm not really sure how, like, what I'm going to call these yet. I think I'm just going to call them kawaii bags. And I don't know, like, I didn't get this from anybody, this um, idea. But I feel like I've heard it from somewhere. So if you know who who originally made this idea for bags, you can go ahead and comment down below and tell me. So yeah. And you can do the same thing with normal copy paper so you can have bigger bags. So let's get started. So this box holds everything we're, we're gonna need to make these little bags right here. And yes, I know I covered this flower box with this picture just so in school everybody would know like who to take it to in case they found it or something so don't mind that and then this is my box filled with like grab and go crafts my erasers so what you're actually going to need is tape um, and sticky notes. That's what's going to be absolutely necessary and you could substitute sticky notes for normal size paper but it's just much faster to do it with sticky notes so that's what I'm gonna do and um, it is it is optional to use scissors but I'm not going to be using them in this one because I have a technique to cut my paper and for design you can use a pen or a marker or anything else you'd like to use to just decorate your box. So here I'm just going to show you the materials that I said. And one piece of sticky note paper will make one bag. No more and no less. So yeah. Let's just go ahead and get started. So the first step is to take your sticky note pad and only get one sticky note and flip it upside down showing sticky side up and you can either cut this the entire sticky part off or you can or you can use this technique where you fold it here I'll be right back after I folded it the way you're supposed to. So this is just after I creased it, I bent it back and then creased and then flipped it upside down and then creased right here. And then you can decide to cut that off or you can just tear it and I'll show you what I mean. So I just tore it right now and you're just going to want to discard this piece and throw it away. And then this is what's going to be used to make the bag. So all you're going to do is fold one end in, inward, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. I can't, like, sh take my other hand and show you guys what I'm doing, because I have to hold it with the camera. So I'll be right back after I show you what I mean. So this is what I mean by, like, folding it in. You take it, and then you just fold it, and it doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's really going to look at the back and then you just fold the other side inward and it doesn't matter if this side's smaller or bigger than this side you just need it to be folded in and have the edges here meeting and aligning with this so I will show you what that looks like so so this is what I have and I just took this bottom piece and folded it up and you're going to tape this into place like this so I'll be right back and then you're going to tape up the rest after this is taped down you're going to tape upward and I'll show you what that looks like so this is what it looks like whenever it's all taped up and then as you can see you can go ahead and open it on up and fit anything inside that you want to like that will fit in there maybe some tiny sticker sheets and now you're just gonna go ahead and decorate it I think that I'm going to take off a couple of my stickers and put them on here. 
so I'll be right back. So guys, this is what they look like whenever they're finished. And I didn't really have anything to put into this one, so I left that in the middle so you guys can see my channel name. And for this one, I just filled it with a, um, a Monster High button. So it can hold those. And this one, I just put in a couple of my hot glue charms, like this strawberry. And I will be uploading a video on these, like maybe weekly reviews, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to set up a video where I'll have different dates of when I'll do different videos. So... Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video just as much as I did. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and tell me if you have any suggestions for videos, because if you have seen my Best of Bubbles video, you will see that I am running out of ideas. And this was just a quick craft that I decided to come up with, because I just do it sometimes, free time in class. I'm like, hey, let's make a video of this. It seems like an easy thing to do. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye!